Clickety clack, chime is back. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the drama surrounding Lush's massacre and her photo op with Jeffree Star and her VIP status. But before I do, let's take a moment and let me show you a company who I think deserves a little bit more attention, Evil Beauty. Evil Beauty is a company that specializes in skincare. Evil Beauty creates products that not only foliates the skin, but helps keep a clean glow on your skin throughout the day. From products ranging from the Mooncast Multitasking Moisturizer to the Rose Quartz Roller, Ibu Beauty provides a way for you to treat your skin not only with a great product, but at an affordable price. Act now and get the New Year offer with the three-piece Glow Bundle at a hugely discounted price. Visit them today at ibubeauty.com. The link will be in the description. Now let's get to it. Anyways, so she posted a pic today of herself in a group of Jeffree Star whom she literally trashed one year ago. Then wants to have an opinion about it when someone tags her or mentions her about it. Why is she so pressed at the drama channels for reporting it? Girl, you didn't have to take that picture of Jeffree Star. You didn't have to go in the so-called VIP area and be included in the photo op at all. You're just there to do makeup and go back to your hotel room or go home. You're not there to be front and center of attention, which is what you're trying to do. You were trying to show out to your friends and show out to the drama community. You didn't have to post that picture at all. You posted that picture for attention at people who don't even care. You're playing games with yourself, girl. You were there to work, nothing more. Luscious literally shaded Jeffree Star 12 days ago. If you don't believe me, check this clip out. No, sometimes... You just never know what you're going to get with people. And it was just really awesome. And it was really cute that she was just like so humble. But Luscious wasn't humble. Luscious was being shady. You pretended you didn't know who she was in front of your boss. Acting like you have no clue who Jeffree Star even was. And for what? What reasons did you have to act like you had no clue in the world who Jeffree Star was? In that moment of time, what reasons did you have for walking up and saying, Hi, what's your name? Shade in one hand and your fan in the other to cool off your sweaty rolls from lying? So humble, so down to earth. Um, and I've been around people who can live in that lifestyle and they lose all their humility. You know what I mean? And she, she didn't, like she was so humble and just real down to earth, like nothing. It was, it just was really cute. And I was like, oh my God, I kind of live for her. Like, it's one thing when you live for somebody as like, oh my God, you're a fan of them or you watch them online and whatever. But in that moment, as a person in her house, I was like, oh my God, I like her. She's super cute. She's super nice. You know, she really was really cute and super nice and i live i could come back here and it would be no tea you know what i mean somebody said jeffrey would have given you some red bull <laughs> let me tell you something that right there if i got an app if i if somebody sent me a, a text message and they said sissy come over here there's a pajama party and I get there and it's Jeffree Star's house. You better trust and believe that I am turning around, turning around, turning around, and I'm getting back in the car and she's booking it. <laughs> I will not, I refuse. I refuse and I rebuke. <laughs> and what about this tweet here? Clearly you have something against Jeffree Star. Clearly you know him. Or what about this next clip here? 2010 so i was maybe like 19 20 years old and i said something along the lines of like oh my god um i love jeffree star's song he had released some song popsicle something and i said i and i literally i said i love jeffree jeffree star's song so much it makes me want to cut myself that's what i said in the tweet i don't even remember saying that it just goes to show like it was so long ago. I was obviously very young and very immature. But this is the person that I looked up to. 
this is the person that I saw on social media and he he promoted that. He promoted, like he constantly glamorized cutting yourself and he made it seem like it was cool and it was fun and it was fierce and like he had photo shoots and like his, his Jeffree Star logo literally had like a little cutting knife on it. So I literally thought that was cool. And look, and I and I saw the tweet, and I was like, "Girl, what were you? What? What? what how ignorant and how stupid are you? You know?" And but it just goes to show you the, these these are the kind of people that are inspiring all these kids. For he's been he's had a platform for like fifteen years now, and that's why I'm like, okay, that's not okay. And these are not the kind of people that we need to have on a pedestal. These are not the kind of people that we need to have on a platform where he's inspiring all of these generations of kids because I, I'm 30 now. I used to be 19. I've, I've been following Jeffree Star since I was like 15, 14. This is what you told your fans in the past, but yet when you went live recently, this is what you had to say. You know, I feel like it was so long ago, but of course there's the history with me and this person. However, last night um, I was invited into this VIP and I was right there with this person and all I could do was be professional and cordial. And I reached out my hand and I said, hi, how are you, what's your name? And he said to me, oh, hi, oh my God, I love your makeup. And then we literally, my friend pulled a phone out and we turned around and we, and, and I knew as soon as we were like, the phone was being put up and the flash went, I just went boom. And I took a picture and that's all there is to it. Everybody wants to use the excuse, oh my God, it was 15 years ago. Honey, look what has come up. He's still doing it now. He is still being extremely problematic now. Look at everything, look at everything that has come out in the last two, three weeks, girl. Trash. And that's why I'm like, you know what? I have to speak out against it. But you didn't speak out against it. You stood there and said nothing. You invited yourself into the VIP area, made sure to get your picture taken with your new best friend, Jeffree Star, and made sure that it was posted online immediately so that you could show all of your fans and all of your haters or so-called drama channels that you are nothing more than a snake in the grass, hungry for attention. But hey, that's my opinion and my opinion only. At the end of the day, People will make their own assumptions about things. Who am I? Just a tiny channel on YouTube making daily videos about you. And why? Why not? Why not show your fans the stuff they are missing out on? The stuff they all fail to see. The stuff that makes you fail. Guys, make sure to click the like button, share, and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye. Now, girl, now I'm being shady.